Move next here at 6 to Sarasota County. Hundreds of people have been gathering for a second day on Venice Beach to see a really rare sight, a 70 ton sperm whale right there on the beach. Yeah, so the about 40 foot long whale actually beached itself yesterday. 50 yards off the service club park in Venice. It died early this morning, but scientists still don't know why. Now a crew of scientists from FWC, Moat Marine Lab and NOAA have been working on a necropsy all afternoon. After having the whale moved closer to shore here, scientists are now hoping that their investigation will tell them why this whale died. They are guessing it was already sick before beaching itself. But the fact that it was this close to shore and skinny tells us something's been going wrong for a while. People are asked to stay out of the water and no swim advisories are now in place because they worry that sharks could approach those bloody waters from that whale. And sperm whales live in the deep waters of the Gulf of Mexico year round, but it has been about 16 years since one beached itself in this part of the Gulf Coast. You may remember this just a few years ago. There were five beached whales that showed up in Pinellas County. Lauren? Yeah, that's right. So this is actually a video of the heroic rescue efforts playing out at Reddington Beach nearly five years ago. So tonight, ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler is talking with an expert, finding out why whales end up beached. He also looks back at the rescued whales from 2019. They're a majestic species and um, they have big hearts, wonderful mothers to their young. Debbie Castle is an associate biology professor at USF St. Petersburg. She says she is saddened to see a sperm whale die after beaching itself Sunday in Venice. Most whales have social elements. They, they migrate to the same areas when there's food, depending on where food is. And so this is not only a loss for us as humans um, with this species that we care a lot about, but it's a loss for the group uh, and the population as well. Castle says there are many reasons whales end up beached. She says because this one appears to have been emaciated, old age may have been a factor. Disease is another possibility along with the noise caused by man-made machines. Chronic boat engine noises, uh, submarines that do a lot of pinging can damage their inner ear. They lose the ability to determine their relationship in the water to gravity. Back in 2019, hundreds watched as volunteers came together to rescue five pilot whales on Reddington Beach. Three of those whales were released back into the Gulf, while the other two spent time at a rehab facility operated by Clearwater Marine Aquarium. They were eventually released as well. And while that beaching had a positive ending, there could be something to learn from this latest case where the whale did not survive. This older emaciated whale presents us a wonderful opportunity to, in the dissection and necroscopy phase, to figure out what went wrong, cause of death, and the just general health of this particular individual. Castle says sperm whales were hunted almost to extinction before being put on an endangered species list decades ago. Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.